All right, so I've got my uh, I've got my uh, my XRT is inside right now. I just actually wanted to warm up because I'm outside here at uh, Hobby Quarters. So here's the deal. I have authorized authorized like it's some big thing. So I've authorized uh, Hobby Quarters. How do I do this? Bam, like that. I think right there. All right. So I'm over here at Hobby Quarters in Foxboro, Mass. Uh, we're going live. I'm not going to go live inside of the store right now only because there's customers in there and all that stuff. And what happens is the whole Massachusetts, uh, whatever, hear nothing, see nothing, it ain't that. It, it's Massachusetts in their way of the uh, two-party consent thing if you're going to be recorded or, or whatever. I, I don't know how that goes. I just don't care. But like I said, we're over here at Hobby Quarters. There you go. Hobby Quarters right there. Um, but what I wanted to say was that I am here now, okay? I'm not going to be here forever. If you're going to come down, that's awesome. If you don't, that's okay too. But if you've got the ability to come down, they're obviously having sales. So what I wanted to say was right now, I just talked to Jeremy and I was curious about, I got a razor blade in my hand. I was curious about how his sales work and he does, he does these sales that are above sometimes and beyond what the manufacturers or the suppliers uh, do. So let's say like sometimes Horizon is having a sale or whatever. So Horizon will have their sale at a certain block, right? So Horizon might have their sale like within a week or, or two weeks or whatever. Right now what he's doing, which you got to kind of keep this hush hush, but it's not hush hush because it's on the internet right now. So right now over at Hobby Court is what he's doing is that He's basically whatever sales that Horizon had, and I think if he if he worded it right, you'll have to talk to him and get the um, get the exact wording because I don't, I don't want to you know mess it up. But the uh, what he said was that whatever the sales were or whatever the sales are is what he's selling the stuff for. So what that means is that let's just say that they had a, a Horizon sale like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. What he's doing is that he's maintaining that sale price. So even though Horizon doesn't have it on sale, provided that he has the stock, you still will get whatever that sale price is. Now, it, it makes sense for you to do your own due diligence and make sure to find out what those sale prices were, but that's what he's doing. And I thought that was pretty cool because that's what happens sometimes is that, you know, let's just say like you you got a, a paycheck coming, right? Or whatever, you don't have a credit card or you've got bad credit or whatever, but these guys actually, they got, you don't need no credit. They, they they said no credit, no problem. I think that's what it says. There's a sign over there. I can't see it right now because the truck is blocking it. But um, so you got like you're waiting on a check. Well, you don't have to wait because if you missed the sale from Horizon, uh, you can still get it over here, which I think that that is pretty good. Now, he had made mention that, you know, they, they, they don't, not these guys, but the, the, the bosses, the big boss, the, the places that, you know, supply these uh, stores like this with product, that they actually kind of don't like that you do that, but they also, in a way, can't tell you what you can and can't do. So, to, to an extent. Unless it's Traxxas, Traxxas is going to tell you what to do all day. <laughs> and I'm sure there's, like, all kinds of things you're going to sign if you're a Traxxas dealer. But whatever, it's cool. Traxxas is just like Bose. It's just like Klipsch. That way you can't like sell Traxxas in Walmart. Although it's funny, you can buy Traxxas vehicles on the Walmart website. Figure that one. I don't, I don't get that. That's kind of odd. But uh, like I said, I'm over here. So what I wanted to say was, uh, so think about these words. Now, if you have purchased an XRT from Hobby Quarters, and you can provide a receipt, bring it to Jeremy, okay? You gotta talk to Jeremy, bring it to Jeremy, or I'll figure out, it's probably with it, with all his people too, but I, I haven't confirmed that yet, but bring your receipt to Hobby Quarters, showing that you bought your XRT from Hobby Quarters, and I, or they, will give you a free RC Guy Garage mount. It's a rear wing mount. And it's only in green because that's all I'm printing them in because it's my color. So this is how you'll get it. 
you'll get it'll come in this little package right here. It's the RC Guy Garage Team Not One Pack. I call it the uh, Mongrel Mount. It's called the Mongrel Mount because it's what it is. It's from my Mongrel. You'll also get two stickers that are RC Guy Garage Team Not One Pack stickers. Why does that look reversed? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> It's upside down. Here we go. RC Guy Garage in reverse. I don't know. Maybe you're seeing it not in reverse. But you'll get two free stickers and you get a free mount. Now, there's only three of them at this shop right now. So there's three of them right here. I'm dropping off. You need to have proof. Have proof that you bought your XRT from Hobby Quarters or buy an XRT and he'll give you a free mount. Now it's limited quantity of three, that's it. There's only three. So I could afford to bring you. But, um, well, I could have brought a whole car load, but it takes a long time to print these dang things, I'm telling you. The, uh, the TPU, this TPU stuff is definitely different on printing. When I printed my PLA thing, man, that printer was all going nuts. I tried to do that with this stuff. No, the thing was like, hell no. Dude, the amount of failed prints that I had was absolutely insane. So that's what this little blip is. Like I said, I'm, I'm sitting over here at Hobby Quarters right now. You can see right there, Hobby Quarters. It's live. See, I'm live at Hobby Quarters. See, here's my hand. <laughs> but we're over here at Hobby Quarters. But anyways, um, so like I was saying... I'm gonna, I got my uh, Mongol, uh, Mongrel X is actually in there right now. There's a couple people looking at it. Uh, they wanted to check it out. So I probably won't run it. I'll have to see what I got for battery packs. Um, obviously, I've got, you know, my, I got my GoPro and all that, all that stuff. So, but uh, just to reiterate, if you bought an XRT from Hobby Quarters and you've got proof of purchase, come in. It's first come, first serve. There's only three left or... Should I say there's only three at this location? And this is the only location other than my own merch store where you're going to find these uh, flexible mounts. So here's, here's the mount that I just took off. This isn't how you receive it. You receive it in better condition than that. You receive it like this, which is all cleaned up. So, and this is that nice, flexible TPU stuff, man. And if you've got an issue with breaking your wing mounts, you can go ahead and hopefully get a free one over here. If you buy an XRT, granted there's only three, if you buy an XRT within that time frame of them having the three or two or whatever, whatever's left, limited quantities, you will get a free, like I said, you'll get a free RC Guy Garage, two stick a pack, and you get the free mount. And uh, I'm just doing that because... Um, it, it is about that, that giving thing, right? So I'm giving to you guys in a sense, kind of, sort of. Not really. You got you to spend a grand. <laughs> I know it's terrible. That sounds so bad. But you'd have to buy this anyway if you wanted to. You don't have to buy mine. But there's another guy out there, Garage Life. He sells them too. He sells them in black. And I guess he sells them in all different kinds of colors. Mine is different. I'm going to say mine is more premium only because I rattle his cage a little bit. Uh, you could definitely see mine. Mine is made with love, care, uh, hours, hours of failed prints. <laughs> Garage life, he probably just like whipped that up like that and knew exactly what to do. I didn't. I'm struggling here. I'm like watching all the prints fail. I'm like, what's going on? And I realized through like doing settings I realized I was just trying to print the thing just way too fast. So, yeah, uh, you learn, man. You learn. And I'm the kind of person that learns by, I guess, uh, what do you call it? You learn by experience. So I will buzz in there real quick. Um, like I said, I'll be kind of, I'm going to be conscious of, you know, people in there. Because like I said, the whole consent thing and whatever, I just want to make sure that I just want to make sure that, you know, if somebody doesn't have some kind of an episode because they think I'm recording them or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, people can get kind of crazy now, dude. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's that's why I'm here to drop off some stuff. Oh, and if, if, I'll show it this way. If, yeah, we'll whip it real quick. So you saw that right there? So if you can read, 
if you can read the, the scratch print. So I am leaving a copy of, I'm leaving a copy of this right there. Traxxas right there. What's that called? Poor man's XRT conversion. So I'm going to leave my list with them. Um, I just want to go over a couple of things. Once it quiets down, I want to be able to grab one of the guys and just go over with like what's going on as far as these parts, because I ended up making the mistake and buying uh, too many parts, which kind of didn't make sense, which is fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's just money. It's just money. <laughs> it's just money. Uh, I got my Camaro sweatshirt on. So if you're looking for me, there we go. It's Camaro sweatshirt. Uh, but so every part that you need to convert your Traxxas X Max over to a Mongrel XRT is on here, except for two things. And that's kind of the reason why I left those things off is because mine's a Mongrel. Okay. So mine's set up a little bit different. Um, most of the parts, so uh, the parts are a combination between uh, Traxxas and Hobby Quarters. So I was able to get probably about half of my parts from Hobby Quarters and half of my parts from Traxxas. Because that's the thing. I probably would have got them all here, but I just I just didn't. I didn't get them all here. So looks like Jeremy right now is already killing the XRT. He's got it out right now. So I think he's he's out there showing off. I'll have to check and see if I've got batteries with mine, with Mongrel X. But, um, yeah, I don't know where I am. But there's parts on this list that don't kind of, like, belong. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I bought stuff that was absolutely pointless. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna jump out real quick. And uh, I'm going to just say, is it okay to film? So that way we don't get hit. So I'm going to go ahead and put these. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put you guys down like that. We're going to go inside and check out. We're actually going to go outside. We're going to go outside and show you what they, what they got going on right now. So I can put this on. You mean rotate device. See, I can put this on. I should do a head mount. You should do my head mount. You know what? I should make a head mount and put like a little sign on top or put like a sticker on my head that says, you're being recorded. And that kind of covers it, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... We're going to get uh, Jeremy ripping the XRT. I think somebody, somebody else has something else out there too. So I got my head mount with me. We'll go over there and you can at least see the XRT uh, ripping. So the XRT that's out is a factory stock uh, XRT. And uh, mine is not. So. We'll see how this works out. It's always weird when you're holding up your phone camera. Yeah, the, what, the XRT? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, switch to the right thing. All right, here goes the animal. Jeremy the animal. Oh my God, that's it. I, I hear breakage. I need my battery. Oh no, don't even say that. <laughs> well, you got the pots anyway. Ah, uh, slip pinion. We got a slip pinion. Yeah, just a slip pinion, no big deal. It's a screamer. I should bring my backpack blower over here and clean this up for you. It's time we clean up right here. Yeah. Ah, oh, slip pinion, no big deal. <laughs> All right, well, you know that stuff like that happens. I mean, come on, that's what happened with my X-Max. Same thing with my XRT, right? Slipped a pinion the first time out. Fix it and you repeat. That's right. What do they say? Bash, break, repeat? That's right. <laughs> hey, you own that? Are you that YouTuber? Uh, the what YouTuber? What guy? Come on. All right. Uh -huh. Who? Who is it? Come on. Kevin uh -huh. Toolbox. No. Oh, oh, you're killing me, guy. Did you say Kevin? Come on. Uh, 
Ah, oh, oh, look at that! Yeah. Bam! Nice. <laughs> Kevin Talbot. I don't look like Kevin. Come on, guy. Hey, that's a compliment. He's yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, from the UK. He needs opinion. All right, we're gonna jump in here. Oh. Help wanted. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Help wanted. Always looking for good Please use the other door. Thank you, sir. Toy store. All right. Now that it's quieted down a little bit, right there. Push the anthem. So, if you are curious to see what the Mongrel X looks like, right. there you go. Keep trying. I keep messing with this thing. So here is Mongrel X over here at Hobby Quarters. Mongrel. Mongrel. Mongrel X. So tell us about that. Um, that so. That's the that's the factory that's the mount that I made that I made as a tester. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving three mounts over here at Hobby Quarters. You have to have proof of purchase of an XRT from Hobby Quarters, and then you can get yourself a free mount. There's only three, so it's first come first serve. So if you have already purchased one, bring in your receipt. You'll get a free mount. If oh, you buy one, if you buy one, if you buy one provided that they have it you can go ahead and get one of these mounts for free comes with two stickers three stickers if you count that one if you want to peel it off but it's a 3d printed tpu uh 3d printed mount so very nice yep. but i'm gonna just run around real quick running? i'm gonna run out around here real quick yep. you don't need to look at me look at the train In case you haven't figured out, I actually like trains. Yes, guy, free, absolutely. It's it's that season of giving, right? So that's what I'm doing. If you come down to Hobby Quarters and you buy yourself a thousand dollar XRT. You get a free $20 mount. Well, actually, it's more than that. Because the other thing, too, is uh, I'll show you. You need to buy, you'll need to buy a couple screws. Or at least it's recommended you buy a couple screws. So, coming over here. Coming your way, I think. Yeah, right here. So, you will have to buy screws. You'll have to buy uh, four M4 by 30. So you have to buy some, or have, some M4 by 30s, and I think you'll have to make sure you have either 24s or 22s. So I think I used 22s and 30s. The 30s work for the wider section, so there's obviously a wider section of the mount. Okay, do I still have one in my pocket? No. I left the other ones in the car. So on the uh, wider section of the mount, you'll just have to use the wider screw or the longer screws. And the reason why that is, it doesn't need to be extreme close up. The reason why that is, is because, because it's a TPU kind of product, it's very flexible. So the longer the screw is going through those mounting positions, the more bite that it has into the actual pieces that you are connecting it to. So it's, um, it definitely works. I'll tell you that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, my mount and I'm going to install it in shop. Hopefully they'll let me install it in shop. I don't see why they wouldn't. So, But uh, like I was saying, this place has sales. Uh, let's see. Sales meaning whatever Horizon had or has had on sale for the last, I think, like month or something like that. I'll have to ask them again. Maybe I can get him to repeat what he told me. I'm not good at repeating what people say. It goes in one ear and right out the other, so. <clears throat> Jeremy, one question, do you have a second? Your sales that you were saying, 
Your sales that you were telling me about earlier. Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do uh, till Christmas Eve is run all of Horizon sales from Black Friday till Christmas Eve. As long as we have the inventory, we'll sell it to you at any of those sale prices. Okay. So you know. I just didn't want to follow so it up. So if you miss a sale somewhere else, we'll have that item here. We'll honor those sales right through Christmas Eve. Awesome. And, <clears throat> Christmas That's Eve week, awesome. we're extending an hour a day. Look at so, that. So your hours are extended, like, towards right. the... Okay. Well, right now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is extended an hour, and the last week before Christmas, we'll be here an hour or two later. So Just what I want to know is, when's the Midnight Madness sale going to happen? Oh, I don't know. You want to come hang out with hey, us and party? Hey, that'd be night? cool. We'll get that'd some definitely be cool. and we'll, uh, we'll <laughs> take it back. <laughs> Looks like we got some work going on. So what do we do? We slip the pinion? Uh, we strip oh. the... Uh, that is quite all right. The spur gear and the, look at the pinion. Look at that. Yep. The Traxxas gears are not as good as the Robinsons. Right, right. These are like pressed metal. Yeah, they're the powdered, yep. Yeah. Powdered metal, yep. So that's what happens but they do when work. they launch it. They do work. And yeah. it's, it's been held holding together for a while, so well, and these are the factory gears too. That's why I have a shop, so I can fix all my toys. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you that's think why I'm doing it for you. Right, right. So <laughs> you see, obviously, he can send his trucks just a little bit different because he's got the stock like literally right here, right now. So exactly. want it now? Get yeah. it done now. Right. <laughs> so hopefully, what I'm going to do is while I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and install my mount so you can see how it goes. You want some tools? But I actually have tools with me. I don't think so. Can you show me? Uh, so let's check it out. <laughs> I got power tools, too. Yeah. All right. Please gather your things and move to the front of the car. I think uh, Earl over here, Earl knows all about them nice powder gears. So... Hopefully, hopefully they're going to throw some nice stuff in there. But um, so you heard what he said, everything like literally from Black Friday on is what they're doing. So whatever sales that Horizon had, if you missed it, come down to Hobby Quarters and you can still get it. So I think that's awesome. And I don't know why. Whoa, what is that? Dude, nice. You're the guy, what? You're the kid I saw five minutes ago? Nice, dude. That is awesome. All right. So these, I don't know why these are still sitting here. Buy this thing. I'm telling you. Buy these. I want them out of the store. These Outcast 4S's are absolutely awesome. This is hands down. I've already said it before. I don't have that, so I can't speak on it. And also a Granite. The Granite is a very, very surprising truck. I have beaten the absolute... What do I say? I have beaten the absolute snot out of mine. You know I did. But this thing right here... Hands down, my favorite 4S vehicle in this platform, in this style. Absolutely love it. I really was looking at that. I really was looking at that. That thing is pretty slick. And I'm looking at that. And we already got those. Why is this still here? Why is that still here? I wonder what the sale price would have been on that if there was one. And then I've been looking at one of these for the longest time. I know it's the same thing as that, and that's why I never got it, but, man. So, we've got more TRX. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy trailers. Now, the last time I was here, I think they only had three left. So, what they're doing is they're gearing up. So, this place is, right now, if you come down to Hobby Quarters, they're getting, I think they said, 100 of the defense between the defender and the Broncos in what is it four colors to choose from or something like that. I think they said like all the colors, whatever it was, but it's that first come first serve kind of deal. So you got to be on the ball and on your a game to go ahead and get one of these. They're getting it in. Uh, they're getting it air shipped here. I'm trying to remember exactly how he said it on the video. They're air shipping them here direct. So literally there's going to be a bag that, drops out of the sky and lands on the roof of this place. But they have an airship uh, just so they could have it uh, for the holidays. I thought that was pretty pretty cool. TRX 4Ms, uh, what are they, 149 bucks or something like that, 150 Good price for a good little truck. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? And so this is what that mount goes for. If you buy one of these XRTs, 
provided that he still has still has the mounts. There's three of them here. If you already bought an XRT. So if you already bought an XRT, I know I'm a broken record here, but if you already bought an XRT, bring in your receipt and you can go ahead and get your free mount. There's only three available, so it's that first come, first serve kind of deal. Or if you buy one of these, you'll get one of my free mounts. So that's just the way it goes, man. But uh, ah. see this thing right here, even though this is the mini, that is something right there. JRX2. Mine was a home-built JRX Pro. This thing, oh, man. And the thing is, too, right? What was the first words, the first words out of my wife's mouth as I'm walking out the door? It wasn't, it wasn't, I hope to see you soon. It wasn't. I hope you don't get into an accident and die. It was, you better not come home with anything. <laughs> horrible. I know, horrible. It's funny, though. I love her. But uh, one of these days, I might have to... Not that thing. That thing is, that thing is huge. That thing is huge, dude. <laughs> See, one of the things, too, about coming into a brick-and-mortar store, right, is... You you see the stuff on videos all the time, right? Or if you see it like, I don't know. You kind of don't get a real gauge of what things are. So you've got this truck right here. I mean, look at, look at the size of this truck. There's the headlight. Here's my hand. I don't have little girl hands. That's not a flame on girls either. You know what I mean. I have sausage fingers. But when you put your hand on this truck, man, it gives you a gauge of how stinking big that thing is. So. Oh, thing's heavy too. Holy crap. It's not as bad as I thought. It's just that that. Boom. Holy. We got a couple Mojaves sitting over here. I don't know why these are sitting here. Why is it bad focus? couple Mojaves, got a couple of Typhons, you got the TLR ready to run as a display model. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. You got some Corvettes. You got some Mustangs for your Mustang lovers. You got the 70 Charger. Now those, those are a little weird right there. The Montes. Super GT4. What is this? Tamiya. Tamiya. Whatever you want to call it. Plasma Edge 2. These are cool. Sand Scorches. That kind of brings me back right here. These Grasshopper. I remember first time I saw this, I think it was on like Radio Control Magazine or something when I was a kid in school, man. That was like a hot item. <laughs> and one of these days, one of these days, one of these, one of these, one of these days, either this or this. This is going away. So far as I remember, he said that was going away. So that's going to be gone. And I think one of the ones that they had had here is gone too. So, but you get the uh, king sling and the bog hog here, purposely placed like that. That's not an accident. I'd like to see what those things can do. So, all right, let's see what's going on in chat. What state am I from? I am from, I'm actually in, how about, I'll tell you where I am. I am in Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Massachusetts. That's why I've got that accent that I have. I don't even think it's an accent, though. It's just a horrible way of speaking. We don't pronounce our R's. So like if you say wheelie bar, it's wheelie ba. <laughs> wheelie ba. B-A-H. All right. So this is that 4S little hallway right here. And he said something about these too. Forget what he said. Oh, 100 bucks off of these cars right here. So the Typhons right now, 100 bucks off. 
So you got the price right there, two thirty nine. And I guess it's a hundred bucks off of that. That'd be crazy. No, okay, there we go. That's more like it. Three thirty nine with a hundred bucks off. So Hobby Quarters did their hundred bucks off right there. I don't want to misrepresent. I can see it now. Oh, RC Guy Garage said, yeah, you can get an additional hundred bucks off. That's not the case. <laughs> Anything that comes out of my mouth as far as sales, I'm not an employee here, so call them up and figure it out. Don't don't blame me. But I'm telling you, this XRT, I'm very, very surprised. All right, did I do it again? Yeah. The XRT is actually pretty cool. We're gonna go check on mine. Smile. You're on camera. You absolutely are. So this is their uh this is their body and tires. So these are all the tires that they got. It is a double rack. This place is un unbelievable. This is also the body room. They got bodies, what they call galore. Got a couple of Camaros up there. Oh, check that out, man. A couple of Camaros. There we go. Giving you a walkthrough. Got some big tires right here. Got all the paints. Here's all your big tires. Some paints. Probably Gundam stuff and all that stuff, but all your tracks is was it called spastics or something like that? What are these called? Graphics. Pro graphics? What do they call them? Spastics? Oh, got some old stuff up there. Yeah. Oh, check that out. What is that? Blackbird S71. SR71, I mean. Wow, that's got some age to it. Holy smokes. And here's the crawler track. Yes, the crawler track goes around the corner of the store. You got a train coming in hot. Got a couple of trains coming in. What the heck was that? Oh. Whoa. Nice slow goer right here. Whoa, all right, we got some cross traffic going. That is slick. Check that out. Oh, that thing is that thing is humming. It's gonna rip right off the track. Check this out. Dang, that is a long, long trail of cars. Holy smokes! All right. All right. Well, I think that's that's where this uh, that's where this live stream is going to stop. I think I think you've pretty much seen everything, unless you wanted to see the uh, you wanted to see the uh, whatever the heck it's called again, Mongol X. There you go. So we'll be swapping that out. But that's the Mongol X right there. Give you a sneak little peek here. Got a couple gas cars here. What do we got right there? Oh, a 5T just sitting there all by itself, lonely. These things should be disappearing. Now, I've actually never seen this one right here other than being here. So this is the exact same thing as mine, except this is the flame in black. Pretty slick. Yeah, there's mine right there. 2.0. That thing's an absolute beast. Outcast. Oh, and by the way, too, the um, they still have a couple of fire teams. So there was that thing. Somebody put like one of those memes. What was it? You get a it was it Oprah Winfrey or whatever. You get a fire team. You get a fire team. Everybody gets a fire team, and it was right. So yes, is there some weirdness with the fire team? Yeah, but the thing is though is that at the price point that the fire team is right now. Especially right here at Hobby Court, it's $3.99 or whatever it was. 
You'd have to ask Jeremy again. I, I'm not. I think it's $3.99. It's the same price that Horizon is selling it for. But he also had a cash price at one point. And I believe from memory, his cash price, I think it's like... Mm, can't quote me. I think it's 50 bucks less. I'm not positive, though. That's a cash price. So... When you want to talk about that fire team, definitely, definitely way worth, uh, way worth the money spent. Uh, just get over the fact that it's got, you know, G.I. Joe's in it. You know, it's just, the thing is, you're buying the platform. You're buying the platform, and at that, at that price, man, I'm telling you, you cannot beat it. Got more train stuff here. I do like trains. I've always liked trains. I should set up my trains, man. Ah, oh, I should get in here. Dude, that is the diesel sound to it. What? That's got the diesel whistle. How does that have the diesel whistle? Oh, that is cool, actually. Wait a minute. How does that have the diesel whistle? I don't even understand. Where's the sound coming from? Check this thing out. <laughs> That's a riot. Get it, James. Yeah. Dude, that, that thing's got the diesel sound to it. Where's it coming from? Oh, it's got the diesel whistle and everything. Oh, I got this train. It's going to take me out. Yeah, all right. Enough trains. All right. So I think, like I said, that's where this uh, live stream is going to end over here. Been on here long enough. So, all right. So this is RC Guy Garage. I'm over here at Hobby Quarters. You remember what I said about the mounts. Uh, if you want a mount, come down and, and get one. It's on me. So, yeah. It's only three of them left. Or three of them here. So go ahead and pick yourself up a uh, XRT for a grand. And you get a free mount. You're going to need it. I'm telling you. You're going to need it. All right. I just got to jump in the chat real quick. What do we got here? You're 14 hours away. I wish you could be there. Yep. 14 hours. Yeah, let me put this here. I'm going to go. I go somewhere where I'm not bothering people. Excuse me. All right. I'll go to a quiet, quieter section. We'll go over, uh, we'll go over here. We'll go to the uh, 4S line of vehicles where it's nice and quiet. All right. So what's going on in chat? What did I miss here? I saw chat somewhere. Uh, super chat? No, that's all what I want. Live chat? Yes. Store is packed. Even <laughs> too. When I first got, well, packed with product or packed with people. When I first got here, man, I was in no way gonna break out my camera. There were a ton of cars here, and when I walked in, it was just like, whoa. So you are the man. Hey, appreciate that, man. Coyote. Let's see. We got. Uh, so we got here. We got Lauren. We got Earl. We got Coyote. We got uh, uh, Quake and Shake. If you're here, say you're here now. 80 people. Paul, what's going on, guy? Uh, not, not, don't say go fast. Wait a minute. Too many people are saying stuff. Jim, what's going on, man? J.P. Stewart, what's going on, man? Joe Girding, what's going on? Stan. Stan's RC, what's happening, man? Captain, what's that say? <laughs> Captain Coolsy? What's going on, man? Uh, let's see Who's your daddy? What's going on? Pete, Eric, James, Grateful Dabs. What's going on, man? Wow. Oh, from Britain. Somebody from Britain. Wasa7. Wow. See, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, Captain, what's going on? Sergeant J, what's going on, man? Barry King, what's going on? JK, what's happening? So what do you think of this place? This place is awesome. I, I actually, I enjoy coming here. I actually do. So I gotta go ahead and get uh, I gotta get my mount, so I can go ahead and put it in. Uh, I gotta put it in my my own mount in my own truck. So if you haven't seen those videos, I did a conversion from my trash bag, which is my X Max, and I converted it into the poor man's XRT. Uh, there is a parts list. I'm gonna go give that parts list to Jeremy. So if you are local to this store and um, you want to get the parts, so you need to know what the parts are. This shop is the first shop that's going to have the exact parts list of what you need. The only thing that you'll have to do beyond the parts is figure out your screws. Make sure, 
or go buy my screw lengths. Make sure that when you're putting those chassis screws in there, do your own due diligence and check and make sure. You can do the depth gauge with your finger like I did. Just don't do it at like 2.30 in the morning like I did because that's when you will end up having a problem. So, so fo fo yeah, Foxborough. Foxborough of Hobby Quarters. So Hobby Quarters and Foxborough, they've got the list. Um, come down and grab your pots and, and turn your X-Max into a Mongrel X. I think it's meant. I, I, I love it. So, all right. That's where this is going to end. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming to this live stream. If you haven't given a thumbs up. Oh, we got 50 of them. Come on. Got 70 people here. Come on. You're killing me, you guy. All right. I'm just going to end it.